Okay guys, I am back, I am back. This is the Crypto Reviewer. Um, I am on uh, an eight hour time frame. And um, this is the Floki pair. I'm trading on uh, KuCoin. Uh, if you look, this is a uh, this is a strategy right here. Basically, um, you want to see how far price is gonna go. So you know, we see his first swing low. We go to the swing low where we went to right here. It um, passes that. So you don't want to trade that when it drops down. I don't know if I said, but I'm actually on the eight hour time frame. Um, you don't want to trade that when it first passes down. You want to wait until it makes that pullback, retest that level, and then it comes back down, right? Um, like I said, you don't want to trade that first, um, that first breakthrough, that first breakout. You know, some traders will trade that, um, but it's not, um, I want to say it's not uh, uh, efficient or, you know, that smart to trade that first breakout. You want to, like I said, wait until it makes that first breakout, see how far price wants to go. Then it goes back, makes that pullback for a retest. And then it breaks out again, you know, to go back to the price it uh, did when it first broke out. So as you see, you come back, you make your, you know, your line um, from your first swing low, let it break out, come back, retest, and let it break out again. This is when you enter your trades uh, right here. Once the candle uh, closes let me see if I can get in here once the clear the, the candle closes uh, you don't want to uh, enter you know when it's under right here and then it you know it makes that wick because what it looks like is you know when a candle forms under you know that retest or that that swing low it may look like it's coming down but it can wick back as it did right here so you want to make sure that the candle closes um, below the retest all right and uh, you know your stop loss you might you um, you might have got stopped out but you uh, you would have re-entered okay and you would have came all the way back down here. Now, it would have came back, retested. Okay, you probably wouldn't have closed right here, so it would have been, you know, fairly late to enter the trade. You see how, you know, this swing low right here. Okay, that's the first thing it did. Now, it came back, retested, closed. I would have did a stop, uh, uh, you know, a stop right above here. It closed again under that retest. So we're just waiting for it to target these levels back down here because this is what price already did. You know, price is already showing us what it did. So we would bring that, you see it down here. This is a good entry. Now we're waiting. We're targeting levels uh, all the way down here. So you know, uh, just a nice strategy of uh, indication, correction. All right, and um, continuation. So you have indication that you know the price is bearish that it comes under this level um 
we have a correction or to pull back then you have a continuation going back down All right so basically indication correction continuation indication correction and it continues back down to do what it did all right now you know it might not always work but if you are um let's say i'm risking uh less than your rewards and um you're you know winning 50 50 you could still become profitable so you know we just waiting on that eight hour time frame and uh just showing you my strategy